on you, but what is this with the United States stealing a jet belonging to Venezuela in the Dominican Republic and flying it to Florida? This is a part of a longstanding effort as Anya's latest book, Corporate Coup Documents, by the U.S. to pillage and punish Venezuela uh, for the crime of Venezuela being independent, of not being under the boot of the U.S. in what you know, U.S. officials, U.S. presidents have long seen as uh, a U.S. right to control Latin America. And Venezuela, you know, one of the wealthiest countries in Latin America, one of the I believe the world's uh, most uh, valuable oil reserves has refused to submit to U.S. orders. So there's been a longstanding effort going back more than two decades by the U.S. to overthrow Venezuela's government. And so they took an opportunity with Maduro in the Dominican Republic to seize his airplane for no other reason but just to teach him a lesson because he's not obedient. And this comes after they've already uh, pillaged the U.S. wing of uh, the Venezuelan state oil company, Sitco, as Anya's book uh, documents. And, um, you know, what is the ostensible reason? It's because Maduro, because the U.S. doesn't recognize Maduro as the winner of the recent Venezuelan election. I don't know what happened in that election. I wasn't there on the ground. You know, this requires an independent audit. What I do know is that the U.S. has no business weighing in on Venezuela's democracy because they've been trying to subvert it for many years now, first through coup attempts and then through crippling sanctions that destroy Venezuela's economy when the coups failed. And so this is just the latest extension of that longstanding regime change effort from from my perspective this is particularly repellent the same fbi agents and u.s marshals that would arrest and prosecute someone for stealing a jet stole a jet got in <laughs> it turned it on fueled it up flew it yeah. back to the united states yeah um 